Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the review that a lot of people have been asking for. I'm sorry that this is a late one. You guys need to understand that when it's a midfielder review, unless I am doing a tactic video or unless I'm reviewing an attacker while doing that midfielder review, they're pretty boring to do, right? But because I'm on Giyu's account and he's in the elite division, I'm like, okay, we're going to go ahead and do a tactic video while doing the spin and solo because you can see I have no attackers to review here. I already did all these guys. So it's a perfect opportunity because, guys, this card looks absolutely incredible. OK, he really does look like an absolute monster. They formatted him perfectly for the engine chemistry style that you're mostly most likely going to give him. Right. So in game stuff. Spinazzola is a six foot one player, high medium work rates, right footed, five star skills, four star weak foot. So with the high medium work rates, it adds a variable to the card, right? When they're medium, medium, boring. OK, very, very boring. But the high medium, while being a right footed player that has a four star weak foot is fantastic because what we're actually going to be doing is we're going to be using him in the four, one, two and two formation from Bugs Club, which we will be doing after this video, playing in that center mid roll cover center, which I'll show you guys after. OK. Uh, Spinazzola's in-game player traits. He's got speed dribbler. He's got injury-prone traits. Injury-prone trait just because this guy's been basically injured for the whole year, essentially. He's only gone gone back recently. He was gone for like a very large majority of the season. I was confusing him with, I think it was like Pellegrini. Yeah, it might have been Pellegrini. Or, yeah, I think Spinazzola's the one that got injured. But here's the thing. This card, take a look at his in-game stuff, right? So he's got the high-medium work rate with the 99 attacking positioning. So that's very interesting, playing in that role, right? The card for base card stats has 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. Perfect. You don't have to mess with that stuff too much. The fact that his shooting, you know, not high in the finishing department, but is in the, sh the shot power department, is very important because this game is more about getting into the right position at the right time, taking one strike. Boom, 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 boom. Take the white strike, right? Like I mentioned to you guys in the rant video. Uh, passing on the card. So listen, for me personally, I want to give him the backbone because I feel like my general experience with this card will be significantly better. Why? Because when you give him the backbone chemistry style, you improve the main passing stats of the card, right? So if I want to go for law passes, uh, through balls, regular passes, his passes is, is in a fantastic area. Okay, very, very good. So that's already good. But it's the fact that you can improve the defensive stats with the physical stats while improving the passing that is going to be a really big deal for a card like this. The main thing that we're going to have to test out is what he's like dribbling, considering the fact that he's a six foot one player. That type of stuff we have to see, right? Because his dribbling stats, to be fair, as a midfielder, is in a fantastic area, okay? So defensive stats look fantastic on the backbone, you know, boosting everything as much as possible while being a tall player. You know, I tell you guys about Deli Alley all the time, right? But this card actually has base card stats of 99 for both of the pace uh, stats. But then he also has crazy physical, right? So if this card doesn't perform well in game, I'll be very surprised for the most part because he obviously looks absolutely incredible, right? So... With Spinazzola in game, guys, uh, since we are doing the 4 1 2 and 2 tactic video, which is perfect for this, uh, we'll be using him again in that right center mid position, playing on just the cover center instruction. So you can see I don't have stay back while attacking on him. So that'll play to his base mechanics of high medium work rates, pushing forward, coming back, right? So that's the type of stuff that we're going to have to take a look at. Um, but yeah, we'll get into a couple games, a few games, and uh, we'll see how he plays. Hopefully, he is a beast. Oh, man. Spin. Let's go, spin. Oh. Man's all with the AI block. Nice. A goal. Good stuff. All started from uh, Spinazzola there, eh? That was good. Oh, no way. Yashin saves that. I should have chipped it, though. What a pass by Spinazzola, though. That was amazing. Oh. 
I will take that. What a goal. What a goal. I wish Spinazzola's positioning was better. That's not his fault, by the way. He, sh he should just be positioned better for that attacking AI movement, but that was a great goal. Let's go, Spinazzola. Having height in those situations, super helpful, man. Oh man, Spinazzola did such a good job there too. Unlucky. I don't know how I got the penalty, but we'll take it. Could not tell you. He's gonna watch the replay for this because he doesn't even know what happened. His uh, double challenge there actually gave him the pen. Um, Spinazzola has 77, so... We're gonna go right side here. I'll take that. Okay. We'll take that. Well done, well done. Spinet Zola has been uh, fantastic for me so far. Like, you've been very good. I think that was Robertson with a the tackle there. Oh, that would have been good. That would have been really good. Yeah. Well done, boys. Spinet Zola is just contributing like crazy right now. His dribbling as a midfielder is like really solid too. Really helpful. If Kenny Dog Leash was more meta, like he had like passing stats and stuff, I would have been good there. Let's go spin. No, what? Courtois animated late to that? Don't score it, but... Please, thank you. And now he's gonna quit, right? Thank you, Sven. Let's go, Spin, you beast. Oh, is he gonna quit because of Spin at Zola? That registration didn't work properly at all, but we move. Hmm, that's a registration thing. I don't blame him for that. That was all spin. That first pass was so well weighted. It was so perfect for that build up. That was perfect. Dude, that was a fantastic run by Spinet Zola. I should have seen that earlier. Man. Pen. Spin at Zola on the attack, man. That high medium work rate is awesome. So, so good. I'm gonna go right side again. Nice. Oh, beauty again. Just sticks out that foot. I like when I'm manually using someone and it rewards me. It's so nice. Nice. We'll take that. Good goal, good goal. I like that. There are Q there, nice. Oh, 
Oh, I was just trying to cover that area. He's a big guy, so... I really like that he takes, like, sharp touches. It's actually, like, a really big deal. Thank you, Spin. Dude, he just gets, like, every kickoff. It's so funny. Oh, yes, that dribble. First time. Nice. Thank you. Oh, let's go. Beauty. Beauty, boys. Spinazzola just, like, he he's a, he's a full meta card, in my opinion. He's an absolute beauty. Oh, I messed that up. That was all me. Oh, that would have been so nice, man. Come on. Thank you. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the Spinach Zola card. So again, guys, I do apologize for this review being late. It's really good that we did the tactic video while doing this because it made it way easier for me to check out this card, okay? So guys, uh, there's not really much to say about Spinazzola's card. I do believe that he is a full meta card. Uh, he is absolutely incredible. Very good on the defense. Very good on the attack. I love the variable that has been done on this card, you know, considering the fact that he's high medium. Like, yes, obviously, if you go to his left back card, you know, he's got the high, high work rates. But that work rate change, it's kind of like using a boosted version of like a Lorente card. You know how Lorente was like really good to use in the beginning of the year, had the high medium, added that variable to your team. That's what the Spinazzola has, but a more crazed out version, like crazy, all right? This card is essentially perfect at doing everything that you need him to do in that midfield setup. The main thing that I wanted to really test out is the dribbling under pressure and how fast he kind of comes off with it. And he was really, really good at doing it, considering the fact that he's a tall player. These types of cards, in my opinion, because they can dribble in that way, they are considered full meta cards, in my opinion, right? Um, I thought he was absolutely fantastic. I love playing him in that center mid role on the cover center instruction, pushing forward and coming back. It was absolutely brilliant to work with. Really good defensively, offered himself a lot on the attack, almost scored a banger with his weak foot on that green time shot. We just couldn't get it off. Maybe if I had the finishing stat, maybe we could have got it off, but... Yeah, the fact that he has the five-star skills to do McGeady cancels, ball roll scoops, you know, the flick up like we did for fun, you know, that is amazing, right? Even if this card honestly was a four-star, four-star player, I would still consider him maybe not necessarily full meta because full meta, these guys, these guys like to have the five-star skills to open up the space because it is this game's version of dribbling to open up space. But yeah, brilliant card. If you're using a card like this in the elite division, like these are the most ideal players, you know? Um, I gave him a backbone because most people were giving it to him. Some people give him a gladiator as well. Um, the gladiator chemistry style, I genuinely wouldn't be against. But like I said, in the meta of this game, the fact that, you know, I can still score because you just need to get that one angle, I don't really care too much about giving him that shooting boost. You know what I'm saying? So... That's why I like the backbone, you know, giving him that passing boost to make him a well-rounded midfielder to pass the ball, you know, have the extra physical stats as well, I think is definitely um, very, very good. Totally happy with the backbone chemistry style. Fantastic player. If we take a look at comparisons in this league, Spinazzola is going to be like a main link to work with when it comes to that Chiellini card, right? So if you want to get that link right there, that's amazing. Um... Let's see here. So if we go to midfielders and we go to the league in the Serie A. Okay, so Tonali's a medium high, so different type of player. Um, if I had to decide between the two in a two midfield setup, I would still go with Spinazzola. Absolutely. Um, Kessier, really, really good player. High, high. So that would be a great combination play. If you can, if you can get, if you guys still have the Kessier card because he's very good. If you can get Kessier in the same team with Spinazzola, that's amazing, right? Very, very good. Um, everything else, like, I just, I 
personally, I never really see this card, these cards being used. So that's going to be the main link that a lot of people are going to be working with. It's either that or with Tonali. But I'm telling you, like if you're going to be choosing between Kessier and Tonali, if you actually have the Kessier SBC, go with Kessier. That guy's an absolute monster. And having these two in the midfield setup would be incredible. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys from the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.